was an uh, active coach up in the New England area. And then uh, February, he was uh, coach of the uh, month in the G League, went 8-2 and two with Delaware. So one of the better coaches and a former Atlanta Hawks assistant coach as well last season. V. Krejci had a triple-double on Friday night, gives it off to Bowden, who finds ah! a cutting to Bob Baker and a two-hand jam. Gets the night started, and a technical foul here, I think, has been assessed. The glass, I believe, with two hands on the finish. Right there. Boom. Yeah, three-level score, and again, with his length and size and athleticism, it's a guy who can have a lot of success. As Daniel Giddens, the Atlanta native, knocks down a straightaway three. Those are his first points as a blue coat. He, too, like Edwards, was picked up just yesterday. Stretch that one from the top of the key. He's a Cobb County guy. Shot that one from Cobb County. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So for the turnover in transition, and that time it's Brownridge, and he sinks the three. Blue Coats two point lead. Brownridge pulls up on Gay, and he drills it. Over to Brownridge, like you said, has had the hot hand so far, all the way back at midcourt with five seconds. McCaw, a long three, and he sinks it and gives a stare off into the distance. I don't know how that went up and down. I guess the Skyhawks must have had a hand on it. No look. Brownridge finds space, bounces off the foot of Silva. It's corralled by Mohammed. He lays it in on the reverse. They have a fifth grade son, Mac McClung, uh, the two-time NBA slam dunk champion, is in the house. So a big draw. Come on down to Gateway Center Arena for all the locals tuning in. Uh, Three-pointer, Brownridge, oh, drills it. Eight for 17 from three-point land. They're back in man on this possession, but... Actually, it's rotating zone, I think. Yeah, McCaw with the floater and the foul. And College Park, it's gonna be Baker. Seemed like he kind of made that decision quickly. He turned around and let it go, and Chris Clark just waltzes right to the rim. It's Joyner, down the left side, and with the right hand scoop, he earns the and one and a high five from the courtside seats. Change of pace and the switch to the right hand at the end of the play really allowed him to get it off. And, uh, but it was a good look, high percentage three and the right guy shooting it. They must have fast forwarded that video. That ball was hanging on there a lot longer than what it looked like on replay. Good hands from Rob Baker. That's a nice rub action uh, in traffic. Um, get in the seams. And Krejci. Singleton a part of that Final Four team at UCLA three years ago. Baisley down the right side. Oh, that was poetic. Mohammed spins around Silva, who walls up and contests the shot, forces the miss. Well, that was great defense, wasn't it, Wiley? Sure was. Textbook and Jordan Bowden started to heat up a little bit. Brownridge cutting an easy two and a timeout called on the floor. Ryan Schmidt did not like those last few possessions. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Oh, we spoke. Uh, one of the keys to the second half was defending the three-point line, oh and they're not supposed gosh. to go down like that. That's now 18 points for Brownridge going out of bounds, falling away. What a prayer. Yeah, he practices that shot. Right? Nice shot, man. <laughs> he made it. Uh, but I was about to say the Skyhawks had not given up a three in the third quarter. Well, you didn't say it, so it's not your fault. Chris Silva. Got eight. Look at that. Falling out of bounds, knocks it down. One the, point the game. Arc, the arc on that shot. Dropped it from the rafters, man. Got it up there. Baisley was anticipating contact, didn't get it, so he dishes some out to the rim. Should get a look one more time. Look at Baisley here. Man, avoids the contact. Slip. Chris Clark bringing it up with some speed, looking to break down Baker. Oh, and sneaky. Amina Mohamed slipped past the back side of the defense, and boom, there he was. Final 30 seconds in the third quarter. Joyner tunneling down the right side of the lane. Feeds to Norris. Spin in the bucket. That was a pirouette right there from Miles Norris. Uh, rebound's an important stat to look at. It's a plus 11 advantage for Delaware on the game. Got to keep them off the backboard. And Rob Edwards, he had nowhere to go with the basketball. He had to 
Send it. And then try to go on a run. And then Delaware's last foul. not going to hand it to him. The last foul was on Baker. Edwards, step back. Yes. That's two. But still hurts. Which the Skyhawks have had some pretty good success today. They're plus 12 in that category. Yep, and right there, cleared out one side, two-man game. Frenchie and Baker. And He's now got 10. Edwards off the bench with 17. With yes. some tough shots. He made a couple threes in this second half. And the stick back from Miles Norris. One more look at Norris. Second Goes. effort above the rim right there. Get it done. Nine points, five boards, and 16 minutes of play. Under four minutes to play, College Park trailing by 17. It's just about sudden death at this point. They've really got to go and hit some threes. Miles Norris, the quick two. You don't see many 30-year-olds in the G League as well. He's a veteran guy. Randolph's three won't go. A little two-on-one opportunity behind the back. McCaw lays it in as Norris came flying in. The amount of fouls that College Park committed. And then finally, a turnover just like that. They can't turn it into points. Yeah, I think Delaware's ability to put fouls on the front line of the Skyhawks. You know, be competitive in the Eastern Conference, move up the standings. Krejci's going to dribble it out. And that's the ball game. Delaware defeats College Park 111-96. to